Well, good afternoon, everyone. And on behalf of Nick and Gabby and the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead's Registration Service, it's my very, very great privilege to welcome you all to the beautiful surroundings of this gorgeous hotel. The four of us came here uh, for a wedding fair. And when I saw this place, I kind of felt this was, this was the exact right spot where I, I wanted to make this woman my wife. I really feel like this is the, the exact wedding we wanted and well, there's, there's a lot of people at this table that we really couldn't have done it without, so I'd like to thank you all. I want to start off by thanking everyone for coming out, for the great effort you've put in to dress as nicely as you have, for your enthusiasm in celebrating with Nick and Gabby and the people that are closest to them. Most importantly, for the great dance moves I'm sure I'm going to be seeing tonight. Your presence here is not just to be part of the celebrations, you're also extending to Nick and to Gabby a very special message of love and support for them as they embark upon one of life's greatest journeys together. One of the deepest and perhaps the most taken for granted relationships in life is that between a caring father and a loving daughter. Colin represents all of his family here today, but in this very special gesture of escorting his daughter down the aisle, he is demonstrating his own personal love and caring for her. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Nicholas, do take thee, Gabrielle, to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Gabrielle, do take thee, Nicholas, to be my lawful wedded husband. Love is the miracle that can mould two lives together and make them one. That can take two souls and bind them together. That can take two hearts and fill them with enough love and tenderness to last a lifetime. There is nothing you can do or strive to achieve that will outshine the peace, the joy, and the sheer happiness of being together with the person you love. Gabby, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and as a symbol of our marriage. Nick, I give you this ring as a sign of my love and as a symbol of our marriage. He's not perfect. You aren't either. And the two of you will never be perfect. But if he can make you laugh at least once, causes you to think twice, and if he admits to being human and making mistakes, hold on to him and give him the most you can. So you have both now made the declaration required by law. You have made a solemn and a binding contract with each other in the presence of your assembled guests. It's now therefore my duty and my very, very great pleasure to announce that from this moment on, you're husband and wife. And I think you'd like to give each other a kiss. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, friends, family, if anybody else doesn't fit in that category, I'm not quite sure why you're here. <laughs> but uh, I am Colin, uh, the very proud father of the bride. Thank you for joining us on this somewhat delayed uh, union between Gabby and Nick. Well, as the father of the bride, this is my first. So I've thought about a check about what I should cover. Uh, one of the things you should cover 
is uh, welcoming the groom to his new family, which I found a little, a little strange actually, because Nick's been part of the family for a long time. <laughs> but welcome, Nick. Anyway. <laughs> Nick likes to show off that he's this big, stoic man that's unrattled by emotion. But let me tell you all that he's indeed a big, fat softie. So much so, and he might deny this, but when we were in Thailand, he came back home early just because he couldn't spend a single second away from her. He knows what he likes, he knows what he's doing, he knows where he's going, and he knows how he's going to get there. And I know he's going to take good care of my little girl. I hope you understand how proud I am of my little girl, of our little girl. Her achievements, big and small, and especially her choice of husband. I suppose I should say a little something about my wife, shouldn't I? Yes, please. Doesn't she look amazing? Yeah. She looks beautiful, doesn't she? The odds were stacked against us, you know. I went to the jewellery shop the one week, it wasn't open. I tried to take her out for a nice dinner and she was trying to ruin for me at every corner. But, <laughs> but the main thing is that we're here today and we've done it. And um, yeah, she's my wife. Yeah. I guess you can only do this once to, to me and my wife. And of course the beauty runs, runs much deeper than the surface, Gabby. You have such a kind heart, and I'm sure we have you to thank for the great man that Nick has become today. Nick and Gabby, please continue to be yourself, and I'm sure you can look forward to a life that's full of adventure, growth, and love. To Nick and Gabby, everyone. Nick, you have vowed to take Gabby to be your wife. Do not promise to love and to cherish her, to comfort her through difficult times, to celebrate with her through happy times, and to remain true to her for the rest of your lives together. I do. And Gabby, you have vowed to take Nick to be your husband. Do you now promise to love and to cherish him, to comfort him through difficult times, to celebrate with him through happy times, and to remain true to him for the rest of your lives together? I do.